If you're watching this video, you want to know in five minutes or less how to become an influencer for a video game such as Free Fire, game that I'm an influencer for. And so I'm going to give you some things not to do and some things to do and really how to position yourself as, uh, as a potential influencer for, say, Green Free Fire. Now, let me share with you some of the, the don'ts. You can't break rules. You can't go against like community policies. You can't do things that not YouTube or Facebook or Twitch would approve of. Can't do any of those things. Let me tell you some don'ts. Don't clickbait. Nobody wants to work with somebody who their only views are coming through clickbait. Videos that you title or post with content that's not in the videos solely to get the people to click the video. And then what they do is they, they will leave quickly because they realize... It's just clickbait. They're not going to stay for your content. It lowers your watch time. It's not going to help you expand the influence of a game when you're just creating clickbait. You can create clickbait through titles that are unrelated to a game, trying to base it on something else that maybe is more popular that's not related in any way, or by using thumbnails and creating clickbait thumbnails. And um, sometimes there are some things that clickbait is beneficial and helpful for in the world out there, but really in video games, you need it. You need to have earnest and honest gameplay and, and, and content that brings people to the game as hopefully new fans. So don't clickbait. Don't sell accounts. Selling accounts is really not, I don't, I haven't known any video game where it's, where it's okay to sell accounts. Like there's always this secondary market that exists out there, but if you're selling accounts, if you're post posting videos about selling accounts on TikTok, um, if you're making advertisement about your account and trying to sell it or, or promoting other people to do it, it's not going to help you become an influencer. And I would say it's really not something that, that a company like Free Fire supports, so you shouldn't be doing it anyways. Um, you don't want to be, uh, don't be a hacker. Don't promote hacking. Don't create videos about you hacking or um, don't create glitch videos that are for the purpose of giving someone a competitive advantage. Don't do any of that type of stuff. There's countless people on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook who have been not only banned by those major streaming companies, but have been, been lost their ability to be influencers for different games for participating in that type of content. And so don't do anything like that. Also a big don't, don't be toxic. Treat people nice, with respect, be kind. Don't come into people's streams and say nasty and terrible and negative things and then expect to one day be on streams promoting uh, good, positive vibes. Like The way that you act on your streams now is the way that you're going to act as an influencer for a video game. And if you create a toxic relationships in the community, if you are toxic in the way that you behave as a streamer and you're toxic in how you interact with other streamers, it's going to come back to bite you. And it's not something that any company really is going to want to have. Uh, you know, they don't want that person on their team. And, and why would you want to act that way? And so those are some don'ts that that you really need to understand. Some do, let, me, let me give you some do's. You do need to stream in the languages that are popular in the region that I'm in. If you want to be a North America streamer, you need to stream in English or in Spanish. The two dominant languages in this region are English for sure, number one, and then Spanish. You need to stream in, in those languages because that's the market. And, and really, when you're looking at promoting and, 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 and expanding a game, you're going to want to do it in the two biggest um, you know, economic markets in that area, which is USA and Canada. And so you need to stream in, in English and Spanish um, and, and begin growing an audience there. I know people speak other languages in those regions. Uh, I, I've researched the top 10 languages. I know there's a lot of Vietnamese and Chinese. Um, there's a lot of French. I think French is number three. And so, yes, those are great. And if you may have a big audience there, and that might get you in, but if you're not streaming English and Spanish, you're going to have a very reduced chance, English and or Spanish, you're going to have a reduced chance to get in. Um, you also want to make sure that you have the people that are following your channel, you have a realistic amount of views for the amount of people that are following you. Uh, I saw someone the other day that had 53,000 subscribers on, on his channel and he had 250 views on the video. That is not realistic. If you have 53,000 subscribers and they're not, and you only have 250 views on your videos on average, those are fake subscribers or they were subscribers you got a long time ago with another game or content and they're just not interested in participating and watching you do this kind of content. So you have to have a good sub ratio on your content to bring in new people and so that your current fan base is a fan base that's going to engage and watch you play um, the game that you're wanting to attract, which I know for many of you is the game that I love, Free Fire. So you need to look to have, I think, a 10%, a 10% um, you know, watched ratio is a decent starting ratio when you're starting out, which means 
if you've got uh, say a thousand people, you got a hundred views. If you got two thousand people, you got two hundred views. If you got ten thousand people, you got a thousand views on a video. But I think that's a very low metric. I don't think that's like oh I got ten percent. I'm now in. I think 10% is kind of a basic metric. You know, I really want to have a much higher metric there, maybe closer to a 15, 20, 25%. And the, the higher you get in your watch ratio to your subs, to your views is really what you're looking for. And those of you who are on the lower end of that, um, especially down in that 100, 200 range, you're going to have to have a much higher than a 10% because only having 10 views in a video is not really influenced in anyway. You're probably going to have to have 50, 60, 40%, somewhere in there where you've got really great engagement with the limited number of subs that you've already gotten. As you get more subs, it is harder to get that response on every video. Um, so you, that it's going to trickle down. But if you could aim for, I would say aim for a 25 to 30% as you grow even. Uh, on the larger numbers, and that's a great watch ratio of uh, views to subs. Next, um, you have to understand that not all platforms are equal. I, I have streamed on 12 to 13 different platforms at a time. They are not all equal. The biggest platforms are YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch for gaming. Those are the platforms that are streaming platforms. There are others out there, but they do not have the audience in North America where I stream for a North American audience or an influencer. So there's things like Nemo and Trovo and DLive. Trovo's great in Europe. Nemo's great in the Middle East. Um, these are great platforms elsewhere, which may be great for influencers in those regions, but not in this region. If you want to be an influencer, you have to have a dedicated following on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, and or any of those. And that's where you got to have your, a primary audience there. You can have TikTok, you can have Clapper, you can have all these other things, and they're great. But they, there should be there to help build your streaming platform, not to replace it. And I know people have 30,000 or 50,000 people on TikTok. I've got 64,000 people on TikTok as of this video. But those are not 64,000 loyal fans that watch all my content. There's 64,000 people who watch ads that I create about Free Fire. And many of them come and check out my Free Fire um, streams on Facebook, YouTube, uh, and Twitch eventually. And that's great because I pick up some subs long term. But it is a long-term strategy. It's not short-term. It's not very helpful for influencing now. Uh, I know that uh, we get a lot of questions about Booya. You know, Booya is a great streaming platform. It's on it's on phone devices, and I, I stream on Booya. But it really it's a streaming platform. But it's got it's kind of its own. It's already got its own community. It's already got its own network and framework. It's already it's another really a, another piece of the company. I think a part of the company, or even a side company that works together with with Garena. And so having a big audience there is awesome. But it's not going to get you in if that's all you do is Booya. You're probably going to have a Booya a Booya connection and you, you'll get it paid through Booya because they have a, an easy monetization there. Next is um, I want to share with you that if you, if you want to get in and you've got a big TikTok, I get this question all the time. You've got to be on YouTube. You've got to be on Twitch or you have to be on um, Facebook and you've got to have a large audience on those in U S and Canada, as long with you can't, you can't just have an international TikTok audience and get in. You've got to have a TikTok audience that's very high in U.S. and Canada. I would say 50% or over is what you need to target. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to get in the Spanish-speaking side of this community because it's a it's a massive side of Free Fire in, in the U.S., uh, in Canada, and North America. And so I'm, I'm intentionally doing that. But you need to really focus on U.S. and Canada. Um, if you want targets, 40% is probably good. 30, 35 to 50% is probably where you should be uh, averaging of your U.S.-Canada audience to really attract the program. That'd be my advice. Now, um, this is just from what I'm putting together by the people that are getting in that I know. And so hopefully that you'll be able to, to utilize that. And then if you want more help from me, I'm, I'm willing to help anybody, but I don't have time to help everybody individually. It is not my job to grow your channel. It's my job to grow my channel. But I do love mentoring people and helping people. I do that in my Discord. We have an influencer training club, which helps you become uh, do the things you need to do to become an influencer for video games. It's not necessarily Free Fire or Garena related. It's not. But the goal is, like, I want to teach you how to make money streaming video games. I, earlier today, I just did, uh, I've done two campaigns worth about $250 for different um, publishers on, on just promoting some products for them. And so those are opportunities that you can have as an influencer because an influencer is not something that's just connected to just free fire. So hopefully this information will help you. It will, it will move you forward in your career as a potential influencer. And, and listen, here's one thing. If you opened up your YouTube account last week, uh, it's going to be hard to get in when you don't have any content. If you want to be part of this community, you got to upload daily, 
You've got to create unique content. That content has to be related to the game. You can't just stream, 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 stream. You can look at my me. I did three or four months of just streaming and I had 200 followers. When I created content that was intentional and specific to the audience I was trying to reach outside of just streaming, my platform took off and I grew 8,000 people in the first month that I did that. And now I'm growing about 4,000, 5,000 people a month. You can do that too. If you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to upload daily, if you're willing to create the right content, you can have that kind of success. But if you haven't posted in a week, if you haven't posted in a month, you're probably not on your way to getting what you want out of being an influencer because you're not putting in the hard work now. It is a lot of work to be an influencer. I spend a good deal of my evenings every night working on content, TikTok videos, you name it, to try to promote not only the program, but the game. And you will have that opportunity maybe one day too, if you're, but you got to put the work in first. I had, I think, around 50 or 60,000 followers before I became even became an influencer with Free Fire. And so my, my easiest advice is go get a bunch of followers and do all the things that I told you and then approach Free Fire and you'll probably have an easy opportunity to get in. And so that's really up to you. Are you willing to put in the hard work? If you need some help, join my Discord. All the help we're doing is there. I'm not doing personal messages. We've got a club you can get in. We're, we're, we're doing videos for that community and we want to help you achieve what you want in this gaming community. Thanks.